The NCAA football games have been in a little bit of a funk lately. Over the past few years, the series hasn't taken any real steps forward, and last year's game was disappointing for me. NCAA Football 12 put way too much emphasis on making the game complex without focusing on making the gameplay fun and smooth. However, it looks like I wasn't alone in the way I felt about this, because this year's NCAA game is the best I've played in quite a long time. This is NCAA Football 13 for the PlayStation 3. NCAA Football 13 is the latest in the long line of NCAA football games. As this is a sports game, I didn't expect any revolutionary changes going in, and because of that, I wasn't disappointed with what was offered. You have your standard modes like Exhibition, Dynasty, Coaching, and a Heisman mode that lets you play as some of the all-time greats. In terms of new features, it's what you'd expect. There's no big thing that's going to get everyone talking, but all of the modes have more refined gameplay. Speaking of which, this is definitely a superior playing NCAA football to last year's game. Not only are buttons more responsive, but players move much more naturally and react more organically. I hated the quarterback control in last year's game, and this has also been fixed, allowing for a much smoother experience that's nearly frustration-free. Defense also seems to be tweaked, although these changes are even less noticeable than the offensive ones. I used to be able to put my linebacker in motion to blitz a spot that was open to get to the quarterback, but the blockers in NCAA 13 seem to finally be catching on to me, as this doesn't work as well. To be honest, I'm glad, as this was a feature that made playing defense a little too easy in the past. Second down. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. Now, like I said earlier, there weren't any revolutionary changes to the game, but the reaction time mechanic that players can use in modes like Road to Glory is absolutely excellent. Say you're playing quarterback, for example. Basically, for all of the good plays you make, you earn seconds on a reaction meter. If you're in a tough spot and receivers are moving downfield, you push the button and time slows down, allowing you to get a clear view of your targets to make a pass. It doesn't feel overpowered, but it can really help to get you out of a jam and make a big play. In addition, the time you get to use it is never more than just a few seconds, so you'll have to make a quick read and get rid of the ball. However, with all the positive things the game's added, the one area it still falls short in is in the visual department. While backgrounds and fields don't look terrible, weird shadow bugs that cause the ground to flicker and a lack of texture on player models really makes the game look older than it is. Audio, like always, is impressive, although nothing really stands out as being amazing, but it does the job. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 59-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. If the changes I've seen in NCAA Football 13 are a sign of what's to come in the series, then I am definitely excited. We'll have to wait and see if they carry over to the other EA football title, but NCAA Football 13 is a pretty big step up from last year's effort. Back to pass. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. To the 20, the 10. He leaps and he's in. Touchdown. 